So the first step for installing um, Focusrite is opening up your browser, full screening it, and then typing Focusrite. Actually, it's one word, so Focusrite GitHub. And we're going to go to the first link that we see and it's got code focus writer and there's a bit of an about what we're going to do is we're going to click on code and we're going to go download zip and I'm going to allow this and it's downloaded so I'm going to close this and I'm going to go to my downloads focus writer and install so I see there's some instructions here so this is how you do it on the Mac. For Windows, it's a bit different. So I'm going to open up my terminal by opening up Spotlight. And I type in Terminal, press Enter. And I paste that command that I just saw. So copy and then paste. So first I have to install QMake. So to, to, to install QMake, I've got to install Brew. So I've got an Apple M1 here. So I'm going to go back to Safari. I'm going to go how to install brew on Mac M1 and I'm going to open up the first answer here accept cookies and I'm just going to copy the first bit of code I see so <coughs> this is essentially the question and this is the answer it's got 243 upvotes um, I've tried this code before and it works, so I'm going to go paste. I'm just going to paste that in. I'm going to type in my password, hit return, and Brew is going to install. So Homebrew is essentially a package manager for the Mac. So it says here it's installed. However, I've got to run these two commands to make it work. So it says here, run these two commands in your terminal to add Homebrew to your path. So I've just got to copy this and I'll just paste it down the bottom and then I'm just going to copy the next one here and I'm going to paste this down the bottom as well and then that's done, homebrew is done um, I don't think I need to do any of this because I did these two steps but I can check this just to see if brew is installed or homebrew okay so I'm just going to type this in I copied it in and I'm pasting it in. You don't have to do this, but I'm doing it anyway just to make sure Homebrew is installed. So the most important thing you have to do is you have to make sure that Homebrew is installed. So I'm going to hit enter. And something's come up, so it's given me some instructions. It's done something, which essentially means Homebrew is installed. So I'm going to type clear in now, and it clears the screen. Now, what I want to do is I want to go into this directory here, Focus Writer. So to do that, I type CD, which means change directory, and I'm going to go into my downloads because it's in my downloads. And I hit enter. And I'm going to hit OK, and it's in my downloads now, and I'm going to go into Focus Writer. So I'm going to go to CD, Focus Writer, right? And now I'm actually in here. So all you have to do is type this command in, and then type this command in, and then run this, um, the make command again. So we're going to try this once more. I'm going to paste this here. So it did something, um, right? Um, no good. We don't have to worry too much about this. Not a git repository. Um, I'm just gonna run, we're just gonna run the next command in. Um, okay, so we don't actually need to run the qmake command. Um, but we do have a make file. So, just type make in now. So you just type make and hit enter. And it's sort of installing focus right now. I know it's really 
complicated um, if you're not familiar with um, the terminal but this is pretty straightforward um, for any installation process so you can see it's installing .cpp files so if you look down it says .cpp um, which is an extension for C++ I think yeah it is and um so I think it's almost done but the QMake is also um, a C++ utility and that's why essentially I think it's C++ um, if we have a look at that um, repository the code so focus writer might be in C++ anyway so all of this is done and we're going to continue with the instructions first I'm going to type clear because I'd like the screen to be look a bit better so I'm going to do it clear um, okay and then I'm going to go to the next command which is this so it's just essentially deploying a dot sh so that's looks like a C um, so it's basically deploying this command so yeah, I mean I think you could double tap but I'm just going to paste that in here and hit enter and what that's done is it's it's creating a disk and hopefully we get something um, hopefully the sh command um, okay there we've got a disk image um, and I'm just going to hit ok here and I'm going to move focus rider in here oh gosh um, okay so focus rider is all installed um, let's go to our applications so you can go applications through here you can also go through spotlight so you can type focus writer and you can see it's right here and then type that in press it so quit there's something wrong with it um, even if I go focus writer here it's not working because it's made the application in here so if you go if I close this after running all that code, they go to Finder and they go to Downloads, and it's actually in here. You can see Focus Right. I said it wasn't here before, but this application's popped up now, and that that'll work. Um, so what you can do is you can copy this. So you just copy, and you can paste it wherever. You can paste it in your desktop. So here. Focus Rider is here now in my desktop, and I can double tap it, and this is Focus Rider, it's all done. And the next step would be to install text and that sort of thing to configure this to make it look pretty. So, the first step to sort of customize this Focus Rider is we're going to download a form called Larkin so I'm going to go download Larkin and I'm going to download okay Larkin in the zip file just because so we have it here okay this is in zip format so I'm just going to do this uh, fuck. sorry there's a download button here I'm just going to press download and I'm going to say allow and we have a TTF file okay great this is essentially Larkin so it's just a font so you can download it it's a, essentially a font that I'm downloading um, just to beautify focus right up so you press you just double tap the link I I opened and you just press install font and it'll install the font for you and then what we're going to do is we're going to open focus writer back up 
and we're gonna go tools maybe it's settings themes so you go settings and themes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press custom here and now I'm going to create a custom theme so sorry it's too fast so I press new and it opens up here and in my font I'm going to go Larkin so I'm going to find the font that I just downloaded so you've got Larkin black which is apparently the only one I have um, so I'll just do that we've got Menlo as well it sort of looks like what Grammarly looks, uses okay so looking back I'm going to change the font size to maybe 22 the window background I'm going to change to let me push this back up here and I will change this to I'm just going to do black for now so the window has gone black um, and that means the font so the text font I'd like white right so so you can see there's a lot of customization <laughs> I have to change the um, text background so I've got to change this to black first so I've changed the text background to black and now it makes more sense um, and these margins here I'm going to change the margins I think I can I'll change this to one and the next one to zero and if I hit enter you'll see um, now I have a completely black screen and I can play this this font is rather odd Sean hello well <laughs> um, but obviously it's a bit thick so you can change this you can customize this as you wish you can edit it and sort of change the font to whatever um, uh, which is um, Menlo hang on sorry so if I go to something like Menlo and I press enter then you can see it looks much better and it's clearer um, so the Oh, uh, sorry, my quick brown. So you, you get the point. It's it's a great editor, and you can actually customize this much more. So you can change the theme, so you can edit it even more. Um, a theme that I like, let me just have a look here, is, um, hang on, sorry, no, it's, Look up D E. Sorry, D. -E. Anyway, I think it's yeah. So it's a, if you want to really get um, so you can change the font text color to um something like maybe cayenne. Is that how you say it? <laughs> so you can change it to that color, right? So it's a beautiful color. I really like this color. And then you can change the window background to um, some kind of RGB. So if you go to, um, I think this is, so you can change the grayscale to R an RGB slider. And this is a hex value, so you can change this to DE, 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 which is my favorite color of gray. You hit enter. You can see the background change to that, but then you can also change the page color to that color. So I think it's in this one, text background, which is essentially the, the page background. And the same thing goes, so DE, 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 and you hit OK. And now you can see it's a very light, I think it's a bit too light, so I'm going to change that from cyan to maybe, maybe something a bit darker. So let's do black. That's well, this is um, maybe black here. And you hit enter and you can see it's a much better finish. But you can see you still have this sort of background. So you can change that as well. So you go here. You go edit. Um, and you can remove, I think. I think you can just press. You've got no image. Uh, you should you should be able 
I don't remember how. Oops. <laughs> so, um, window background. It's it's something to do with the shadow. So I think so. I've got to remove this option. I think there we go. So as soon as I untick that, it should be gone. And there you go. So now you have a clean screen, and you can clearly focus wherever you like. And so you can see it's it's highly customizable. You can download any fonts you want, um, and probably. The other one, my other favorite, is that you can create a new one and you have your Times New Roman and you've got, you can just change the window background to a white and you can also untick that and look how clean that looks and now you're really focused um, and you just change the font to 22 and so you can see, um, you can see how clear it is you know, I think it's great to focus and get a lot of work done, especially if you're writing. So, yeah. Oh, whoops, not capital. <laughs> and then you can be like. But you get the point. <laughs>